So in the panel you mentioned that this show is kind of the new edgy because of its balance between the, the positive and the dark and uh, really a show like this could have gone dark if you wanted it to. So what made you choose the opposite? What kind of inspired that? What was behind wanting to strike that balance instead? I've always tried to make the shows I personally want to watch. And sometimes that works out really well and sometimes I'm the only one who wanted to watch it. <laughs> so, so you don't really know. But th there's a type of show that I, I grew up on that I loved, you know, and you know, when TNT gave us Sunday night at 8 o'clock, that to me was the wonderful world of Disney. You know, that's what I grew up on. I'm old. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's a lot of really interesting shows that are delving into morally ambiguous characters and, you know, and they're, they're cool, but there's a lot of them now. It's not like 10 years ago where when you saw uh, um, uh, Nip Tuck and you'd never seen anything like it before, or The Shield. Now there's a lot of shows doing that. And if you look across the landscape, there's not a lot of shows. In fact, I can't really think of anyone other than the librarians that, that nine-year-olds can watch with their grandparents and the parents and everybody is enjoying the show.